today's the day hi guys and welcome back to my channel today's video we are going to be moving into our home this is the video where we're going to be putting all the furniture in and all of that and i am so excited i am hoping we'll be able to spend the night in the house tonight it will be our first night which i'm so excited for so my parents will be here soon sam is working at um, my parents house because we don't have wi-fi here yet so my plan today is to get all the rugs down and put all the furniture in organize the kitchen and possibly hang some light fixtures and things like that i've spent the morning mopping again i just ended off the last vlog and this is my third mop construction dust is just insane and they even had cleaners come before me so i just wanted to mop it again because i didn't want to put a carpet over dust you know and then it would never get clean and now i'm going to start fully unpacking everything so i'm waiting for my pants to get here and then we'll really do all the big stuff so before my parents get here i'm going to work on the closet i've already put some things in clearly but I've got a ton of other stuff that I just need to get in and get organized. Oh, that is a lot. I actually brought this package over and I was about to open it and put it away, but I wanna show you guys everything I got. I just moved into this room upstairs because this is the only room that's like not covered in boxes. I'm so excited to say that this video is sponsored by Hollister and I'm gonna show you guys some of my finds. They have the most beautiful pieces for this holiday season. And you guys know I've been trying to find staples for my wardrobe and I truly feel like I got some amazing ones. And I want to let you guys know I will have everything linked in the description box plus my sizes. Maybe that will help give you a reference to sizing. I'll have everything you need to know linked in the description. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start with my favorite thing I got. Guys, this sweater. Don't worry, I'm gonna put some try-on clips over this so you can truly see what it looks like on me. I'm obsessed. I truly feel like this is a great staple to have in your closet. It goes great with jeans, leggings, truly so many different things. Guys, I got this mini skirt. I am very into the plaid mini skirts this season with some tights and like a knit sweater over top. My favorite look. Hollister has some really great mini skirt options. And I saw this on their website and I was like, immediately add to cart. With the holidays here, I really wanted some cozy pajama pants, but I didn't want just straight Christmassy ones, even though they have those options. I wanted ones that could extend all year round because I actually wear pants all year round. And I got these, how cute. It's giving coastal grandma. I'm obsessed with it and I wish y'all could feel how soft and cozy they're like a flannel feeling but they're a lot lighter weight than a flannel that's the best way i can describe this just adorable with a white sweatshirt over top or just something to lounge around in honestly these are cute all year round did i pick up my dream midi skirt absolutely look how adorable this is i love the details on it the cream color again i've been wanting some really good staples in my closet and i feel like skirts are really great to wear all year round even heading into the colder season you can pair it with a sweater and then in the summer you can pair it with like a baby tee and it looks so cute and they had so many different options they also had a floral option that i was obsessed with i'll also link that in the description box even though i didn't get that one i thought it was a really really cute one but i know i've been longing for a white skirt in my closet and in my collection so when i saw this i was like i need to get that another basic to add to the wardrobe i got this beautiful scoop neck top i did not expect it to feel this soft can you see the d yes look how soft and cozy that looks if you could feel this, you would love it as well. I really loved this color. It wasn't too dark or too light. I felt like it was a great neutral to go with so many different things in my closet. And I love that it's long sleeve. I feel like I've got a lot of short sleeve basics, but not very many long sleeve basics. So this will be a great addition to my wardrobe. Last but absolutely not least are these trousers. Do we call them trousers? I think they're called trousers. Anyway, this is the ultra high rise wide leg pant. And guys, the best part about these is the size variation. They have short, regular, I think they even have tall. They're a mix between like normal pants and then like cargo pants. So fun. So you can either dress them up or make them super casual. And they're pretty heavyweight. Like these are quality material. So I'm sure I will wear these very often. That's everything I got from Hollister. They have so many great pieces to add to your wardrobe, whether those pieces are on trend or classics that you can hold on to for a very long time. I will have everything I picked linked down below. They also have some great sales going on. So I'll have in the description box, like what sales are going on when. 
if that makes sense because I'm just trying to help a girl out. You guys know I love a deal and they've got some great deals going on. Definitely check them out. Like I said, I'll have everything you need to know in my description box and thank you again to Hollister for sponsoring today's video. Now that was a fun little break from packing, but let's get back to it. At this point, you already know. Cueing the audiobook. We're about to put carpets down, get the furniture in and all of that. I am hoping that this rug will work. This is our old living room rug, but it might be too big. So I bought this one. And if that doesn't work in here, we'll use it in our bedroom possibly. So we'll see. Yep, exactly, because you'll just be going all over the place. Clean up as you go. It's like cooking. Clean as you go. Yeah, that's the problem. lunch we had hibachi I went and picked it up right there and now we are doing the kitchen and I'm stressed because I don't have the room I once had my camera died so I had to charge it we got a lot done during that time don't know if I told you guys. We decided to switch the original rug out here into our bedroom and this one in here because this one was too small in our bedroom and I originally wanted it in here anyway, but I felt like it might be too small for the space, but I actually think it works. We working on the kitchen. This kitchen, it's a work in progress for sure. Hanging the TV. Psalm 91 over it. Jesus, name I pray. Amen. Amen. Wait, wait, Howard. Oh, I'm so behind on all of it. Oh. Oh. nine o'clock and I'm gonna give you guys like a little overview of everything that we've done today everybody left it's just me and Sam here now and we were planning on sleeping in here tonight but we didn't have time to get our mattress and it's been raining so we decided against it put my office together really no decor or anything kind of a mess right now put the living room together I actually washed all the cushions too which is so nice and then the chandelier together and we put the Roman shades up and then I'm gonna put curtains lining each of them like in our old house. We hung the frame TV, which comment down below. Do you think it's too high off the mantle? Should we lower it? Let us know. Put in our dining room set. This chair, I was deciding between these two here, so just ignore that. And then we really organized the kitchen pretty well. All of the cabinets are filled to the brim. And we gotta figure out the pantry situation because we have no food in there and it's already full. So I just need some organizational baskets. Then for our bedroom, we put this together. Now, just look, this is where you can see where our couch was. This is all where like we walked and stuff. 
disgusting. So I bought a carpet cleaner, the little green machine or the big green machine, I can't remember. I'm gonna clean this, all the furniture, our couch, all of that. That will probably move over there and then we need to build our nightstands and we need hang curtains and stuff. And then I got this rug from Loloy. It's the Chris Loves Julia X Loloy, but I don't love it in here or anywhere out there. It's too small out there and the feel doesn't feel right for in here. So I might have to return it even though I think it's beautiful. I want to get this rug in a full size for my office. I think that will look really pretty. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It is the next day. I have not vlogged much at all today because we have a lot of people here. We have painters here finishing the upstairs and we have our security people here installing our security system and we pretty much moved out of my parents house fully so tonight will definitely be our first night sleeping in this house and we'll bring teddy by later which i'm so excited for sam is currently back at my parents house with grant and they're loading up our mattress box frame and all of our bedding stuff so that we can set up our bed and everything which is so exciting and then we're going to run to lowe's our fridge came damaged which i talked about in the last vlog and so we never got in like notification of hey we're sending you another one nothing so we need to go there and be like hey uh we need a fridge and then they also didn't deliver our proper gas line so we can't set up our gas stove again we've just had delay after delay and at this point it's just funny like what do you do you just gotta laugh about it you know so big things are happening today so i'm gonna unpack these boxes and kind of organize everything as best i can our bathroom that is officially painted and I'm trying to determine which side of the sink I want typically I have that side but I'm wondering if I want this side. why does this stress me out it feels like such a permanent decision but I guess it's really not I can't part from my old ways I'm just gonna do that one <laughs> This bathroom doesn't have any drawers, which I've never heard of a vanity that doesn't have any drawers. Maybe you guys have one and you can let me know what you do for like, where do you put your hair tools? I'm gonna look on Amazon right now and see if they have any like drawer systems. It grosses me out to like leave my toothbrushes out, but I guess we have a toilet room, so it's not as gross. Comment down below if you guys ever saw the Mythbusters episode about keeping a toothbrush in an open bathroom. It is the most disgusting thing you'll ever watch. I watched it in seventh grade and it has stuck with me so i will never ever ever leave my toothbrushes out in a bathroom like where the toilet is because stuff sprays when you flush sorry to ruin that for you but maybe something like that i just want to be organized i don't want to create a mess it is now sunday i honestly cannot remember the last time i vlogged my camera battery died i lost the charger so i had to go to best buy get a new charger and battery but we got a lot done so i'm gonna give you guys a little update sam got the stove set up and he's currently turning the gas on i am beyond excited about this new stove because it is also an air fryer which means that we can air fry i want to know more about this guy i think it's just for like fast boiling maybe look how cool you just touch it <gasps> Fancy! Probably the most exciting update of them all. We got the chandelier up and <laughs> this is like what I've been waiting for. So we put it on a dimmer switch so we had to like get a dimmer switch and stuff. But look how cozy, like we can create a super cozy ambiance or extremely bright for when I need to film. How like look at that lighting. It's a little warm because I like warmer lights but pristine. So he's working on the next light chandelier, which we're gonna hang that one. Um, what else have we done in here? Oh, we decorated for Christmas. I did that on my reel for Vlogmas day. Um, I have no idea when this is going live, but I'll be doing Vlogmas all throughout December. You can go follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting a video every single day over there. Slowly but surely, we've been fixing our closet. The rack was originally right here, and we're gonna raise it up to where that new notch is because the clothes were touching this dresser, so we decided just to raise it up. And bathroom, I haven't even figured that out. It's actually stressing me out. And that's really it. We still don't have a fridge, so we got some frozen pizzas for dinner tonight. We're gonna cook it in our new oven, and I'm really excited. And then, wow, it really feels like we haven't done much, but I feel like we did a lot today. Ready. 
<laughs> Let there be light. Our pizzas are ready to go. They look really good. This is the California Pizza Kitchen frozen pizzas. They were on sale. So this is the barbecue chicken and the pepperoni. They smell amazing. It's a few days later and I'm realizing I never ended the vlog. I've been vlogging so much. So be sure to subscribe and stick around if you wanna see more fun content. And thank you again to Hollister for sponsoring today's video. Again, I'll have everything linked down below that you need to know. I'll see you guys very soon. Lots of videos coming your way these next few weeks. Love you guys. Bye.